In this video, we're going to use trigonometry to learn how to find the hypotenuse in a right angled triangle. In this example, we've been given a right angled triangle with an angle of 35 degrees, a side length of 7, and we're trying to find the hypotenuse, which is labelled X. Our first step is to label the sides of the triangle. The side opposite the right angle is the hypotenuse. The side opposite the angle is our opposite and the side next to or adjacent to the angle is our adjacent side. We then need to highlight which sides have information on them. So in this example, we have the hypotenuse side and the adjacent side. This helps us determine which trig ratio we are going to use. So because we have information on our adjacent and our hypotenuse sides, this means that we are going to be using our cos ratio. Let's start by writing down our formula cos theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. Now let's substitute into this equation the information that we know. We know that theta is equal to 35 degrees, we know that the adjacent side is equal to 7 and that the hypotenuse is equal to x. It is important to note that when x or the unknown value falls in the denominator of the fraction, we have to complete an extra step to ensure that we solve this equation properly. Firstly, multiply both sides of the equation by x. This gives us x times cos 35 equals 7. Our goal is to get the x by itself on the left hand side of the equation. Because it is attached to the cos 35 by a time sign, we have to do the opposite, which is to divide both sides by cos 35. We can then cross out the cos 35 from the left hand side of the equation because anything divided by itself is 1. And we now have x equals 7 divided by cos 35. You can see that to get to this step from the second line of working, we have literally just swapped the position of the x and the cos 35. At this stage, we can just put the information on the right hand side of the equation into our calculator to get the answer. Which to one decimal place, x is equal to 8.5.